Morning everyone, welcome to the Highlands Wearable Arts 2021. Um, a new way of doing things this year. We're going to be videoing this live to everyone. We have some wonderful, excited creators out here waiting to show you their creative designs. We need somebody to judge and we've been very fortunate to get our head judge, normally in years gone by, to come along as our guest one and only judge this year, Mrs. Finderup. Welcome Mrs. Finderup. Okay, let's have some music and start. Our first section is the newspaper art section. We have two entries in this section. The first entry is Balloon Butterfly. Janelle Helgren and Ellie Rogers from Room 9. Ellie is the model, so come on in. Our next 
entry is called A Stroll in Wonderland by Chloe Holbrun and Chelsea Cassis from Room 7. Chelsea is a model wearing today.
silver discs were glued onto the butterfly shaped pieces to represent a hinge, like on a real armour. The skirt and jacket are laced with old shoelaces. Choice of change. 
tangible woman, was very bold. And this is why we made sure our garment flashed, sparkled, and was fluorescent. All parts of our costume were handmade using patterns and then hand painted. Not to mention all of the materials were recycled. Look out, it's bright, it's bold, it's a pop of fluorescence. A large group of contestants in this section. First up we have Kapuhi Piriwa by Corbin Hills in room 21. This amazing creation has been put together using a number of Hello Fresh soft plastic coolie bags. I know what they're like. They keep the meat and dairy products cool and fresh, much like this robotic bat which whose huge ears are used for echolocation and help them get around. The silvery outfit is very reflective, hence sunlight simply reflects off the suit, blinding any potential predators. Foil tape holds the seams of this eye-catching suit together. The recycled Christmas tinsel tassels hang down from each wing, sorry. They move around a hypnotise anything nearby, allowing the Kapui Yiriwa to make its glistening escape. Well done, Kapui. Uh, next up we have Stop Litter by Elizabeth Catty and Irenia Williams. Both from room 21. To make our dress, we've used soda cans, chip packets, my dad's old shirt, and paper shopping bags. Most of our items for our costume were found in fields and on the streets. This just goes to show how much plastic there is and how much we waste. So please, next time you open a bag of chips, think about your waste and your litter, because this creation has been made just by picking this up from around the place. Thank you.
up, we had Snap, Crackle, and Pop by Casey Plummer, Plummer and Macy Russell from Room 24. What's up, girls? creation took months to make as we had to collect around a hundred trip packets. Gosh, some people I'm sure would be able to do that in no time. We also made a recycled bread tag belt. Notice that. The best thing of all, the dress has pockets. We stuck all of our trip packets on the outside in a pattern. We chose a pattern to be effective to the crowd so it's nice and shiny and colourful. You can also wear this for a Halloween and a dress-up party, perhaps. Very effective. Well done, girls. Next up, we have Feathers of a Dove. Emma Jamison from Room 22. Come on in, Emma. Modelled and designed by Emma. She's been a busy girl. This creation has been made from upcycled and recycled items from around the home. The headpiece has been constructed from an old headband and fabric feathers found in the fabric box that led down to this dress. It has been made from chicken wire and a hula hoop. Covered with more feather shaped fabric. The wings have been formed from the fabric feathers and scrap bits of elastic. The feathers in this piece were made from leftover bits of fabric from masks that my family makes. The fabric, if cut the right way for the mask, naturally goes into that feathery shape. So Emma has used this to create feathers of a dove.
and an old elastic and milk bottle lids for the accessories. Trash Topia made from trash. Well done. Okay, next we have Wacky Wonders. Designed by Emma Warren and Leah Luskin and modelled by Emma Warren. Come on in, Emma. This creation, a lot of hard work done by these girls, made with chicken wire as a base, covered with lots of newspaper fans. A bodice on the top and a skirt underneath and topped off with a wonderful head accessory of a nice big newspaper bow. If you look really carefully though, you'll also see the creation on the footwear. Scuffs, not ideal for a wonderful dress like that, but certainly wacky. Well done girls. Okay, our next entry is called Water Collector. Jackson Sleep and Harry Matson from Room 17 have put this together. This suit of armour is based on the Star Wars Clone Trooper and Storm Trooper. Constructed of a mixture of recycled and upcycled PVC spouting and guttering. Also utilising a recycled 20 litre plastic tub. The helmet is an upcycled Clone Trooper helmet. To make this suit, we heated and bent the spouting in shape. So it would fit on all parts of the body. So well done, Jackson and Harry. <laughs> Next we have the Recycled Warriors.
collection has been made out of paper rolls, twine, paint and Velcro and put together to make a suit of armour. It took hours to connect the rolls together, as we can appreciate just looking at it. They were painted by hand after this was all put together and turned into the toilet paper armour. Well done, Aiden. Very, very difficult one. Would you like to say something for this? Very much. 
I would like to say that the standard is absolutely superior and I could have picked nearly all of you, okay? If we were doing the wearable arts in, in um, town, then you all would have been in for sure. But I have to pick somebody and the winner of this section is Recycled Warriors. Recycled Warriors. Now we have our four finalists coming on. Our first section winner from the newspaper art section, Balloon Butterfly. Let's give them a round of applause. Butterfly Samurai. Give them a big round of applause. And our Sparkle and Flash winners for their section. Pop of Fluorescent. Thank you for um, giving up your time and coming to judge this. 
I know myself and all the other participants had an amazing time and it couldn't have happened without you. So we've got a little gift for you. Thank you so much. And thank you very much for a wonderful audience. That's it for today, folks. We'll go back to class. Thank you.